G'day mates, Home Slice here, back with the Evil Within 2. Uh, we're up to part 15 now, we've got some new crossbow technology with the ice bolt, and we're going to start the episode off with a cup of coffee, because there's nothing quite like a refreshing cup of J in the morning to get you going. Um, I feel like we're getting pretty far into the game now and the story's going places and um, we've got a file over here on what looks to be a broken communicator but yeah let's have a read of this. Torres's journal. This journal was written in a neat feminine hand. The most recent entry reads as follows. Not sure how long I've been waiting for Myra and Theodore to return. Time is a sketchy concept inside STEM. Even more so since Lily escaped. All I know is that they should have returned by now. If I die in here, I just want whoever... F I just want whoever finds this diary to know that I went in willingly. I did something a long time ago, something that I regret, and that's why I'm here now, waiting to take Lily out of here. This is my last chance at redemption, and maybe a shot at starting my life over. Either way, I'm committed to this plan. I'll see it through to the end, no matter what. But it's obvious something went wrong. If that's the case, I should keep an eye out for help, like Kidman told me to. But this place is falling apart around me. I hope I can find him if he gets sent inside. I hope I can find him if he gets sent inside. I think she's talking about Sebastian. Uh, let's see if there's a new... Any new dialogue options? Let me ask options. you a few more questions before I go. There are. You said Myra was supposed to stay behind to take care of Mobius. How? By using STEM against them. Everyone in Mobius has a brain chip implanted in them that allows them to enter STEM without being affected by it. The chip allows them access and benefits that normal citizens don't have. And you let them put those things inside you? How convenient. It's not like we were given much of a choice. Myra was supposed to send a signal back through STEM that would neutralize every member of Mobius via their brain chips. Basically like a mass remote control lobotomy. That's one way to solve the problem, I guess. If we don't do it, Mobius will just put Lily back in STEM and kill all of us for mutiny. It's the only way. Sounds like what Stefano did. He uh, blew the heads off a lot of people. Um, I don't know if these are new dialogue options or if I didn't actually talk to her in the previous episode but yeah we're here now I so can't let's believe Kidman's behind all of this let's continue she sent me into beacon she stood by while Lily was put into stem it doesn't seem like her to betray them you're an outsider Sebastian you don't know what Kidman is really like she had to keep her true self secret all this time so that she could get close enough to strike but why now why not when they were building the new stem we need stem to send the signal to take Mobius down when Lily was chosen as the core, Myra and Kidman decided it was time to put everything into effect. The way things are going now, this could be our only chance to pull this off. Yeah, they probably don't, didn't uh, try and take Mobius down there in the first game because they really had no idea, like, the capabilities of STEM and what would happen with it. But now they've started a plan. So how did Theodore Wallace get mixed up in this? It was Theodore's idea of sending the signal through STEM. Now that I think about it, he probably just wanted to take over Mobius for himself. Damn it. I knew he wasn't trustworthy. That guy's slippery like a snake. But that's his game. He can convince people of anything. He convinced us that he was here to help us. Yeah. I've known people like that. They always seem like they're your best friend. Until they stab you in the back. Sort of like Kidman in the first game, I guess because Sebastian had no idea. One minute I was in a tidal wave of blood in Theodore's hellhole. The next thing I know, I'm in that house with you. I still don't understand how you found me. Me either. I was scouting the area around my safe house for supplies when I heard a girl's voice coming from that abandoned house. I went to investigate. No girl, but you were there. It's almost like I was led to you. A girl's voice? Lily. It had to be Lily. But how? Why'd she leave, There's no though? telling how or why things happen in here. Stem was already unpredictable before she escaped. Yeah. But now, I stopped trying to make sense of things a long time ago. Yeah, it really doesn't make sense how we, um, 
show up at any points in the plot, like when someone finds us or we find someone else. Uh, maybe I'm missing something with the lore, but I really don't get it. Um, let's see if there's anything new in the mirror. Don't need to craft anything, so it doesn't hurt to have a look, but... Uh, no new slide. Anything in... Oh, no. Not in there, that's the shooting range. Uh, I think I have some keys. If I don't, I'll at least... At least I'll get to talk to uh, Tatiana, the nurse. I think she's Welcome the nurse. Welcome back, detective. Please have some keys. Ah, damn, I don't have any. Oh, well. You're back. New knowledge requires new abilities for the challenges ahead. If you knew something I didn't, you could have just told me and saved me the headache. If only I could. But this is a journey you must take alone. But I'm not alone. I found others to help me. Taurus, Hoffman, O'Neill. They are there to accompany you, but the discovery is yours alone to make. Discovery, and self-discovery. That's what makes STEM so... intriguing. I don't understand her. Like, what's her game? Don't you think it's time that you moved on to the task at hand? Ah, that's the, that's the cue to leave. Don't have enough gel for anything, but... Yeah, she's make, she makes a lot of cryptic... Uh, sort of remarks, and Sebastian's clearly suffering from uh, some PTSD or uh, mental trauma of some sort. And <laughs> let's just bash all these doors down because it's pretty fun to do. Uh, well, we're full on uh, those things, so let's just go into the marrow. All right. Let's hope the marrow is still there. Yeah, could just be destroyed by now with how unstable everything's getting inside STEM. We good? I think we good. Facilities. What horrors are going to wait for us in here? I can't wait to find out. <laughs> oh, what's that? Ah, oh, that's just a fuse. And some weapon parts, 40 of them. Oh, is this a new component for the freeze? It is. Yep, cool gases and condense them into liquids. Awesome. I wonder how good the freeze bolts are going to be. I've already uh, upgraded the smoke bolt, so I wonder if, because I've upgraded it so much, the freeze bolt will just be inferior, because I th think they do the same thing or they're at least very similar they like freeze your enemies in place to give you an opportunity to make you move uh, is this locked off oh we're gonna have to shoot this with the shock bolt oh no it's another one of the fuse box uh, puzzles. So that's two that's six put that one off because Oh, we're good. Uh, the last one was a little puzzle where you had to line them up. That one was much simpler. Shit. Looks like Theodore's been here. Ah, uh, yep, the candles. Maybe that's why I couldn't contact O'Neill. Hoffman's safe house is nearby. Yeah, I, I should check up on her. I think, um... Sykes? Oh, God. Oh, no. Another team member down. I should have listened to him. I should have helped him out. Shit, I'd... Far out, I didn't know, um... I'd progressed past his... Side mission. Damn, I like that guy. Oh, we've got a photographic slide. A relic from the pre-phone camera era. I only got three out of eleven. I wonder if I've missed a lot of those, or... Um... There's just a lot more to come. No idea. Yeah, damn, I like Sykes. That's a shame. I, f I feel like bloody reloading so I can uh, save him, or uh, maybe that wouldn't result in him getting saved by doing his quest. I don't know, but I feel bad because he's tomahawked, but 
That's locked. We kind of need to do some sort of power thing to activate that, I think. But nice blood stain leading into here. So, oh, it's Hoffman, a safe house. You here? Oh shit! Hoffman's gone too. Another one of these. Oh, yeah. What happened here? Yeah, we we know these things. Um. Liam, is that you? Liam. his safe house to go to a restricted area of the marrow it doesn't sound like him yeah I was about to say that same thing that does not sound like O'Neill at all he seems pretty uh, self-centered but um Hoffman's talking about clearance but oh let's check the slide actually uh, Hoffman's talking about clearance but is that really applicable at this point with how hellish this place is like it's insane So much crazy stuff going on. Uh, okay, yeah, I've definitely missed slides. I'm uh, missing two, three, five, and six. Ah, well, let's talk to these. Oh, not talk to these, but... Pick up, Kidman. I'm here. Myra was right all along. I should have listened to her, but her theory seems so unbelievable. Unbelievable. But all true. Yeah, and crazier than I could have ever imagined. The truth is supposed to set you free. Why do I feel so trapped by it? Because ignorance is bliss. Once you learn what's happening behind the curtain, you can never go back. That's what happened to Myra. She was a damn good detective. Better than I ever was. She went searching for the truth and it trapped her too. God damn, the dialogue in this game is so good. That th that conversation just was so short, but it hit on so many points and themes all in one go. I and I didn't know uh, Myra was a detective. I thought she was a lawyer of some sort. But yeah, let's go on to the next one. Kidman, it's me. Read you loud and clear, Sebastian. Mobius. A name. That was all I had to go on. Every avenue I pursued led to a dead end. And now I find out that they're everywhere. Hidden in plain sight. I don't understand how. I told you before. You don't find Mobius unless they want you to. They've been around for a long, long time. They know what they're doing. We knew you were looking. We were watching you. And we were able to stop you every time you got too close. Why? Why do they do this? People choose leaders. What Mobius wants to do isn't leadership. It's imprisonment. It's control. They know this. If they own all the media and politicians already, they should be out in the open. They hide in the shadows because they know what they're doing is evil. If people knew the truth, they'd burn Mobius to the ground. Maybe you're right. But if people ever did find out the truth, who would believe them? Yeah. The easiest way to hide a conspiracy is to make people think there's no such thing as a conspiracy. Yeah, the whole, like, controlling politics and the media and all that just sounds like Nazi Germany all over again. Oh, we got some goo from the kitty. Thanks, kitty. Awesome. I don't think that's enough to upgrade anything, so let's uh, press on. Uh, but yeah, we definitely don't want another Nazi Germany. Don't want a Fourth Reich. Ooh, another file. F Hoffman's notes. Time as a concept inside STEM has always been tricky, but the di disappearance of the core and the collapse of Union has amplified this tenfold. The changes here have become, become even more pronounced since Sebastian left to confront Stefano. I'm afraid that he must have failed. I've been keeping a close eye on things via the security cameras. 
not only is Union changing, but the corruption has spread to the marrow itself. It's changing, shifting, items appearing seemingly from nowhere. Creatures that defy imagination wandering the halls. I'm not leaving this safe house until I have a damn good reason to do it. But who knows how long a safe house can remain safe. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, yeah, a lot of the creatures in this game are beyond imagination, but somehow they manage to think them up, the creators of this game. And they're damn good designs at that, if you ask me anyway. I think this is, yeah, this was the way uh, Hoffman did walk down here, so. It was a creepy corridor. BNCO2. This corpse will get dragged, 100%. It's happened before, no, he's against a wall. Damn, he's losing it, he's missing his arm, I should say. He's got a pouch for us. Shotgun ammo, nice. Uh, that looks like it's not working. We'll put our flashlight on. It keeps turning itself off. Uh, high grade weapon. Oh shit! Oh, fucker. I thought the one over here was uh, dead, and I didn't see the one there, but, well, I thought there was a crouching uh, place to go, but I guess the elevator out here is working. Oh, I just saw the red and assumed uh, it was out of order. Silly me. Oh, getting Mass Effect flashbacks. Too many damn elevator rides in that game. The first one, anyway. Got more shotgun shells. We're full on shot. Oh no, we just got a pouch. So Looks like they had extra security for this place. Yeah, metal detector. Or oh, another file. Yeah, it's broken, so it won't go off on us. Another mirror. All oh, the shotgun shells. for that bunny gunpowder and yeah another file security protocols due to the sensitive nature of the experiments being conducted the laboratory is only accessible to Mobius operatives the proper unity cerebral chip designation Please observe all security protocols when entering the laboratory and be aware that your clearance level also binds you to top secret non-disclosure tenets as outlined in your enlistment contract. Any operative attempting to access the laboratory without proper clearance will be subject to corporal punishment as outlined in the Mobius security bylaws. <sighs> God, this company just gets worse the more you read about them. Oh, what's... This. Don't need the flashlight anymore. I'll turn it off myself. Blood. This reminds me from the scene in the first Resident Evil movie. Um, and all the lasers, like, come out of the walls and slice and dice people up. Um, now we're back all to these the tanks. What's this about? Oh, damn. Experiments. Or maybe people going to another level of STEM, Inception style? I don't know. I've been reading a lot of files and um, I still can't grasp like, a lot of the lore. Like, what is this thing? Oh, that's just a tank. Knocked over. Nothing on the computer there. I've got some goo. Nothing over here. Some body bags. Move the door down. Oh, actually, I should probably be more... more quiet. Oh, yep. We heard something. Something over there. Oh, shit. 
you'll you have clearance, don't you? Yeah, she had huh. she had can't pass through without one access. of those chips. Got to be one around here somewhere. We're going to have to chop a Mobius operative's head off to get one. That wouldn't be very nice. Uh, I'll have a little look at the area before shooting that uh, circuit board with a crossbow. This place. Oh shit. It's going to say it's uh, pretty empty, but Proven wrong straight away. Let's get our gunpowder. Four bottles and there's. Oh god, the guy fell off the table. He's alive. Got him. I feel like my aim has uh, improved over the course of the game, which is nice. Not by much, but a significant enough amount to notice. Side. A body bag. Oh, another one of these freezer things. Oh, and another file. Irregularity studies. The phenomenon has become more prevalent. We have dedicated the entire laboratory wing of the marrow to studying it. Citizen transformations have become quick, violent, and even more obscene. They are mutating into forms that can't even be considered humanoid. They have lost any semblance of humanity altogether. We have dubbed these affected citizens the lost. We have determined that the last phase before metamorphosis involves the belief that they are being pursued by some invisible but inescapable force. Once they have succumb to this force, their transformation begins. STEM is an artificial construct. There are no viruses, bacteria, or contagion here. The lost phenomenon is therefore a mental process. We are still in the dark as to how it spreads and to whom it will spread next. Perhaps the trigger was present in the subjects before they even entered STEM. Further research is needed. Right, so these... All these body bags are the lost, as uh, that file just said, so we have a name for them now instead of just zombie, which is uh, nice, I guess. Let's shoot this. A quick reload. And oh boy. You know what? I'll check upstairs first. I don't like the look of that uh, corridor there. Uh, and of course, there are still. Oh, this guy's. He looks different to all the other NPCs lying around. Oh, we've fallen bottles. At least he was dapper before he got messed up. Let's avoid those for now. <laughs> <laughs> there I go again, kicking the damn door in. <laughs> it's just like s muzzle memory or second nature to do that. Uh, what's in here? What do we have here? Hmm. More goo. Always welcome. Another file. Operative case, our worst fears have been realised. The lost phenomenon has spread to Mobius operatives. We had theorised that the transformations were a result of memory overwrite, but no operatives have been overwritten. Spooky. We were able to quarantine and terminate an effective, affected Mobius operative before he could transform. Perhaps his exposure to so many lost corpses in the pit made him susceptible to whatever is causing this. Perhaps it's merely coincidence. We are harv sorry, we are harvesting his uh, Unity cerebral chip in the hopes that it will pro provide new data. Removal of intact cerebral chips is possible with the extraction device. It's a relatively simple and automated process. Merely place the subject on the gurney and enter the extraction device's code 0128. If they haven't removed this guy's chip yet, I can use it to get through that door and find Hoffman. And there's uh, 
a nasty spider crawling on my wall. Uh, not a fan of spiders, but yeah, let's do this. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh God, this is gonna be gory. I bet it's like Dead Space Two flashbacks. Oh, that sound. Ooh, that's gross. I thought we would need to control it ourselves. God damn. It's that tiny, huh? Cerebral chip. Oh, thank God he's already dead. Yeah. I gotta get out of this lab. Oh shit. gonna I well, can't take cover there so um, I'll end the episode here uh, this place is getting pretty spooky but it's also very interesting so I want to explore what else it has to offer but yeah I'll end it here peace in the Middle East and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching peace out uh, one more thing actually uh, I am really looking to get some feedback in the comments um, my videos have been getting um, a nice amount of likes that I'm really happy with and some uh, views, uh, but no one's leaving any feedback, so I don't really know uh, any areas to improve on. Um, so if anyone's watching and they want to have some feedback for me, then uh, please leave a comment uh, below. But yeah, peace in the Middle East once again, and thanks for watching. Bye.